Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today, and I'm back from Brick Fair with a Brick Fair 2013 haul. I'm working on editing all the Brick Fair footage, but for right now I'm just going to do the haul because the footage is going to take quite a while, quite a while to edit. I'm going to show you stuff that I, it's not an order that I bought, but according to vendor. So I have it all in a bag here. I haven't taken it out yet. I got everything right here, and I'm super excited. So the first things I bought were from Brick Show. I got three Brick Show stickers. I got a whole pile of tattoos. There's still more in the bag, I see. I'll get that out. Oh, I got four Brick Show stickers. And I'll tell you how much the price of everything was, just so because you're curious, like me, when you go to Brick Fair and you didn't know how much anything was gonna cost or you weren't sure. So I got a whole bunch of tattoos. I got their brick show bag. The green bag. I'll just set that to the side because you don't care about the bag. I got this Target dog. No gift card, obviously, for only $2. That was really good. They had bins out. I'll show you the video footage I took of all the vendor areas. For only, I got that for $2. For only a dollar, I got all these magnifying glasses for my police department. They're kind of a purpley. For another dollar, I got three legs with printing on them, which they're really neat legs. For another dollar, I got these really cool transparent greeny yellow spiders. And I got this set number 30220, this fireboat without the minifigure for just two dollars that they actually reviewed on Brick Show, which is pretty cool. All the pieces but the minifigure are there, so I'll move those out of the way. At these machines, they had for 50 cents you put it in and they had all these girl parts. So I got nine. So there's still one in the bag, I'll get it out. I got this girl torso here. And these are 50 cents each. I got nine. I got I'll see if I can find it later on. I got this cool hair. I got this hair. I can't show you them out of the package, it'll take too long, this video's already going to be long. I got this cool Lego Friends hair. I got another one of those Lego Friends hair. I got this blonde hair from the new City Line. Some of these are really neat, never seen them before. I got another one of those blonde hairs. Another one of the brown hair with the white, two white stripes. And I'll see if I can find the other one. It's another one of the brown hairs with the white stripe. So in this bag, I have from Classic Plastic Brick, or no, I got, I'm sorry. This bag is from Lost in a Vacuum. I'll just get everything out here. I have it all in my Brick Fair bag right from Brick Fair, Virginia. I'll show you that, the Brick Fair bag that everybody got for being a registrant. Or you could buy for only a dollar, it was a really good deal. So at the Lost in a Vacuum, they had Make a Minifigure for $5. So here are the parts I got. I didn't act, I made sure I made a minifigure, but not the minifigure I kind of want. I just made it because I, the, for the pieces. Like, I didn't make a skier minifigure or director. Like, I just, literally, I found pieces, found hair, and I put them all together. So there's, there are the pieces I got for only $2.50. I got this camera grip torso. Two skis, this hair, this cool face, a camera, and this really neat pair of legs. That was only five dollars. That was only two dollars and fifty cents. And I also got this minifigure with this baby blue pants, these snowshoes or tennis rackets. I guess are kind of. I guess you could, they could be used for both. This old hair. This cool face, another camera, and this TV logo. I Clifford and it, I traded him two minifigures. I do not remember what minifigures they were from my Bricklink store. They were two of the same. I know that, so I think they were the evil evil robot. Or, but I traded him two minifigures at four dollars each for eight cameraman torsos. 
all in great condition. This cameraman at the back. I treated him eight. So that's really awesome. I can cameraman all my torsos now. And for only eight dollars, he sold me eight legs, eight pairs of black legs, and eight heads. Which is really nice. So I bought all those. Um, at Brick Arms and GI Brick, or Brick Mania, sorry, Brick Arms slash Brick Mania, if you bought, I bought this item, this nice camouflage gun, I got, and I got this blue gun, the baby blue gun for free, which is really awesome, Brick Arms, GI Brick, and Brick Mania. World War Brick. So that was really awesome. This gun was $2. And then this one was obviously free. I got these. This whole pack of... There's 40 guns in it. I don't remember what vendor it is. I'll look in a second. So 40 guns. For $16. It was a great deal. Considering I bought one gun for $2. Yet I got 40. And there's a chrome gold in it. I haven't opened these yet. So from the Lego display, they had a whole bunch of Lego Chima. I got this Legend of Chima Razor, set number 70100, Ring of Fire, for free. There. So I got this set for free, just for doing their Chima thing. So who wouldn't do it for free? Get some free Lego. It's an amazing deal. I got two of these DK Lego minifigure... Uh, necklaces, I guess you'd call them, with a whole bunch of Lego minifigures. I'll show these up in a closer video. They were free. If you, they were on a table, that you could just take them for free. I got in my goodie bag, which I'll do a video of everything in the goodie bag. I got this Brick Fair Virginia 2013 program because me and my dad both registered. I actually got two programs. I'll take them off to the side. You don't need to wear them. And then I got a few pub I got a public program and had them stamp at Brick Fair 2013. And then in the in the programs you just got a whole bunch of information which I also I'll show you in the Brick Fair video I'm gonna do. So here are all the business cards I got. I'll show you all of them. And I got a whole bunch of doubles, because me and my dad both grabbed them by mistake, thinking the other person grabbed it or something. The other person didn't. I got a... I'll just show you quickly. I got a Citizen Brick, Brick City Depot, Abby Dabbles, a Michael MGF, a Block Party Bricks, Combrack Brick, people... The Brick people are the people I got the custom weapons from, Clone Army, Clone Army Customs, All Time Toys, Blinking Lights, Building Secrets, Brick Warriors, Modern Brick Warfare, Prudeus 10, I think that's his, his name, Classic Plastic Bricks, Cincinnati Bricks, Kevin Hinkle from the Lego Group, Build It, Brick Brigade, Build It Brickworks, Bullseye Bricks, Solid Brick Studios, me models, I got two because they're two different business cards. JPO Customs, Brick Mania Brick Arms, Brick Toy Store, Shotgun 22 SD, uh, Greater for Greater Florida Lego Users Group, and Eclipse Graphic. So those are all the business cards I got. I got to meet so many people, but I'll tell you that in my Brick Fair video that I'm going to talk about all just all about Brick Fair. Tell you stories about it. From Eclipse Graphics, I got this really neat, these really neat things. I got a Bricka Hut pizza box, which was two dollars. I'm pretty sure. Along the Starbucks coffee was Starblocks coffee was two dollars. Bricka Hut white pizza box. A brick house pizza, and then this Hershey bar, Hershey's bar, brick she's bar. I guess I don't know. 
it confuses me. But those were all two dollars except for the Hershey's bar, which I'm pretty sure was only a dollar. Fifty. Good deal. So I got that. So I obviously got two goodie bags with my brick badge. On my brick badge, I didn't have that tile. I had two minifigures that I'll show you. I one is my brick lover 18 minifigure, and the other I will show you. I'll show you a later time. From the brick journal, I got this whole bag of minifigure parts. Or not minifigure parts, but just parts. For only two dollars, which is really good considering there's a whole bunch of printed pieces in there. As you can see. So I'm definitely gonna open that up. I'll open up everything I want to open up after when I'm done with this, I'll show you. Or I'll, I'll review, I'll do their separate reviews, I guess, I don't know. I got this monkey for, for five, just five dollars, which is a really good deal. I got this chicken for two dollars, which is also a really nice chicken. Really good deal, I think. If you donated ten dollars to charity, you got this this set here. I will do a video on that. It got and it got broken up. I've got to rebuild it. But I'll do a separate video on that talking about the charity and stuff that it goes with. This I got this bag of brick from classic plastic brick. It also has a mini figure in here. I'll just get the mini figure in. Right here it is. Found it. This minifigure is actually from the 1970s. I had a coupon to build a free minifigure, which he didn't have set up on Friday night, so he said I could just take that one. That was on my book bag. And I got this whole bag of parts. Which I'll, I'll open it up at the end of the video. It's just the whole bag for five dollars. And it also comes with, and this bag was two a dollar total. With all these computer parts. There are actually two different bags that I combined them into one. And they were fifty cents a bag. So set that to the side. At another spot, they didn't have a name. You build four minifigures for ten dollars, and they have over fifty thousand minifigures. So I'll zoom out over here, and I so I obviously got four minifigures. Again, I did not just build them. I got the parts that I wanted and used them like that. So this is the first, I guess, minifigure I, think I got. For, they were only two dollars and fifty cents each. I got parts to use my camera with. So I got this tape, a stud, a red stud, a, a gray camera piece. I got this cameraman, another cameraman torso, some blue legs, this really neat Marilyn Monroe type hair, and then this Agent Trace head, along with a snake minifigure to hold in its other hand, and a Base plate for them. I got every minifigure that has a base plate. This is the next minifigure I got, which is really awesome. I got another snake. I don't have any snakes, so I'm adding them to my collection, even though I hate them. I got this golden cup. This really neat, nice hair. This tor this head. I'm gonna turn my camera light on this head another base plate for them which is a really good deal because there's people other people are selling these for a dollar base plate and I got the whole minifigure for 250 this another a director's torso I tried to get exclusive torsos that I hadn't seen before and black pants I also got this this old minifigure right here that and I got another base plate for him and then the final minifigure I got from this seller was this minifigure here that came with another base plate, white pants, this TV person's logo, I love that, a camera, another snake, this cool skier's mask head I think, this it is, and then this really nice hair, which is really cool. So I'll set that to the side. I got a lot, and I had a lot of fun, which I'll tell you all about later in the video. 
I got these really awesome GI Brick stickers. I got two of those. Really sick. I thought they were bookmarks at first. I got this Eclipse Graphics pin that actually glows in the dark. I found that out in the hotel room. If you wore it after you purchased, you got 10% off your entire purchase. Next time. I got this Me Models checkered cab, which is really cool. I'm going to build that and review it. I'm going to review most of the stuff here if it's custom or whatever. I got these brick forts. This is really awesome because I actually got six of these. They were free with a goodie bag and then to the son of the public. They were supposed to hand them out, but they ended up just throwing them at the door. So I got six. I'm only going to show four. The rest are in my goodie bag, which I'll show you in another video. I got this bow. I got this helmet visor. I got this cool gun. And I got a shield. I'll show you the other ones I got. So I got six of those. They're really neat. I'll review all these in another video. And I played this game called Dirty Brickster. It's where you buy a Lego item, $10 to $15. You come with it. You have it wrapped. And then you get a number. They put You put all your gifts on the table. And when your number's called, you get to come up and pick a gift, which is really awesome. So I was number 38. I got picked. I'm just going to tell you the small story. I got picked, so I go up, and there was a U.S. Postal Priority Mailbox. I thought that was pretty neat. I thought I could get something cool. I opened it up, and there was five Lego Star Wars planets. Just the planets. No pieces to go with it. They literally stripped it all down, and didn't. I didn't... It was terrible. Like, I'm thinking... I was kind of upset, because I... Those, they weren't worth it to me. Like... So I held them there, and right until the very end, when another kid actually came up and took them from me, and I'm like, why would you want them? But I didn't say that, because I figured, oh, we must want them, sort of thing. So I stole from a lady. I was the third person to steal, so I got to keep it. What I got, I got this set number 5620, the sweet, the street cleaner. I got this 30222, 33 pieces. This this uh, Lego helicopter, police helicopter, you got that for spending a certain amount at the Lego store in the past few months. And then I got this Lego Creator 39 pieces, set number 40078, the hot dog cart. That was incredibly awesome. You got that in July if you spent $75 or more at the Lego store. So I, the kid, I, I couldn't figure, still couldn't figure out why he stole it, but he did. And I found out at the end that there's a prize for the worst gift. And he won the prize, but it was a Lego game, so it would have still been, it was champion. So I'm still so happy that I got that, but I just couldn't believe. And I found out later that it was from a vendor that sold the kid to them. And I guess the mom got really mad that it was voted worst gift at the fair, and yeah. But, but I just, I'm not a Star Wars fan, so it didn't appeal to me. But I was still going to use them for projects. I was going to hang them for my ceiling, give some to my cousins. I was going to make it. I got two of these Lego Brick Fair, or not, not Lego, but Brick Fair, I can't zoom out anymore. Lego Fan Festival Brick Fair bags. I, they're red. I got two of those. One's not on the studio right now. I'll show you if you really care, but I got two of those. But I'll show you that in a more video. So as you can see, my studio is a big mess. I've got everything here. So thanks for watching this Brick Fair haul video. I had a great time at Brick Fair and I can't wait to do reviews on a ton of this stuff. I think I spent $150. Oh, before I go, I also bought a yellow Brick Show t-shirt. I will, Or Brick Show, not Brick Show. Brick Fair t-shirt. It's in the walk right now, so I can't show it. But before I go, I'm going to quickly show you what I got from Classic Plastic Bricks in my $5 in my five dollar uh, can, or my five dollar cup I guess, and I'm also going to show you what I got in the bag for only two dollars from Brick Journal. So here I am and I'm going to show you what I got in the classic plastic bricks bag for only five dollars. So there everything is. 
for $5, it's a really great deal because I got a ton of plates. Like a ton. That's going to be awesome. I got some ton of plates. I got some doors. I got these really awesome pieces that I'm going to use in an upcoming mock for my city. Got a whole bunch of these. Burn table plates. So that was a really good deal for only five dollars. That was an amazing deal as far as I'm concerned. And here's what I got in the uh, brick journal bag. This was also a really good deal. For two dollars, they had a whole bunch. You did not get to pick, they were assigned. But here's what I got. I got this brick magic on a plate, along with another plate. It was empty. I got a few white tiles, but a few of them are also printed on. I'll just find the printed one. I got this brick magic engraved brick. I didn't go, but still. I got another brick magic tile kit, sort of thing. So I can't find that printed tile, apparently. I got this printed brick. And I found the printed tile. Brick flicks. That was really neat. And I got this for $2. This is well worth the price. So thanks for watching my Brick Fair haul video. Have a great day.